before we get into all this awesome stuff, make sure you smash that like button, share all the videos, regardless whether or not you see something eye-catching or not. It really helps the channel if you aren't subscribed, because I know a million of you out there aren't even subscribed to this channel at all. What are you doing? Join the channel, subscribe. And even better, be a member to check out extra spicy content that YouTube says, no, I don't feel like helping or supporting. With that being said, let's get right to some of the details. First and foremost, you might have seen some of the community posts if you are a loyal minion and some of the updates that I've been putting out recently throughout my social as well is the recent passing of my mother-in-law. It's been a really unexpected way to go. She was fine and healthy the last time we saw her and this was all over Memorial Day weekend where she just suddenly passed. And in order to make up for that effort, we're doing everything that we can to gather funds for the funeral and all the other necessary preparations. So I decided to put together a fundraiser show. This is accessible both in person in the Sacramento, California area and virtual. And because of the fact that this can be streamed virtually online for this specific show, make sure you really share your support and also help donate to the cause. And all the information is gonna be in the description as well so definitely take a look at that all the information for tickets and then also in the description there's a direct donation link just so you can help contribute so that we can help her move on and do so in an honorable and respectable way this fundraising show is set for july 17th so if you're able to tune in 7 p.m pacific time virtually or if you're in the sacramento area or plan to be in the area definitely get those tickets sorted out because in person there's a limited amount of seats. So once they're gone, they're gone. So be sure to get in on that. The second show I have confirmed is in the Paragold, Arkansas area. So those of you East Coast friends, and if you happen to be in Paragold, Arkansas or plan to be in the area, definitely worth checking it out. It's at the Collins Theater. It's a very beautiful historical spot. And I'll be bringing back my random <laughs> go show. And this time I'd be adding hypnosis to the whole selection because in this show, basically everything is up to the audience. So I have a bunch of items and whatnot. People can choose what kind of magic or what kind of hypnosis stuff they want to see. It's a fully freeform show. And this time around, this is going to be a full fleshed out comedy, improv, magic, hypnosis show that you're sure to enjoy. And to me, this is a continuation of the initial run I had in San Jose when it was shut down abruptly because the theater there just ended up going bankrupt. So the fact that I'm able to bring this back to life really means a lot. So your support there really does matter. So spread the word and just send all these videos and stuff to your friends in the Paragold area. If you happen to know anybody in Arkansas, just share with them the wealth of awesomeness and that is this channel and other outlets that I have to them so we can get them hyped up for this awesome show. Personal sponsorships aside, let's get right into exactly what is gray psychology. Now, if you do a simple Google search on what white and gray psychology is, all it brings up is the psychology of color. Every color on a palette has some psychological meaning. There's like whole, you can do a search on color theory and how certain colors affect the psychology and the mood of individuals that look at it. But what's prevalent and what's commonly seen amongst dating gurus and people that wanna hype up their crap courses is the fact that they use dark or black psychology. Dark psychology is the art of using manipulation, deception in order to get things for personal gain. And the first time I genuinely heard of white psychology was during my time in the Army Reserves. I was with a psychological operations unit. And the first sergeant there at the time mentioned that both light or white psychology and dark and black psychology is used during these missions. So the black psychology or dark psychology, which I talked about, is all for selfish gain, while white psychology is the idea of being able to influence people in a way that benefits everyone. So if you look at white psychology, entirely selfless in terms of its use, while dark psychology, entirely selfish, the opposite spectrum. So process of elimination, gray psychology is the combination of white and black psychology, therefore gray. 
what does gray psychology mean? Gray psychology, in this case, is a win-win type situation. So you want to create situations that benefit both parties. So you get something out of it while the other person gets something out of it and no one feels cheated out of. Commonly with dark or black psychology, you end up manipulating people to the point where they're essentially broken. So Stockholm Syndrome is a byproduct of dark slash black psychology. And there's other like manipulation type courses that say, oh, we can bend the other person to your will, make them your slave and stuff. And if you choose to break off with them, you're gonna damage them for the rest of their life. As big and bold claims that they may be, that is entirely a possibility if you know exactly what you're doing to the human brain. Because my general life approach is to do things through a gray psychology perspective, using the skill sets that I have to help others and also in turn help me because in order to live in this world, you got to be able to pay your own bills and all that stuff. So gray psychology has been very, very beneficial in terms of my everyday lifestyle. All the things that I do, I take to account what do I need to do to benefit me and what I can do throughout my life to help benefit others. Some of the key things to note, white psychology, because it's entirely selfless, you go in with zero expectations of getting anything in return. Dark psychology is pretty prevalent because all the socio-psychopaths are running organizations and stuff. The last thing you want is to be labeled as someone that's a manipulator, a deceiver, a scammer, things of that sort. An overall gray psychology can be a bit tricky to implement because you are using dark tactics to achieve certain goals. Even though the goal is something that benefits both parties, one misstep can lead to an irreparable rift that is formed between the relationships between you and the other person. Depending on what your goals are, that's kind of where gray psychology can be a bit tricky when implementing on a day-to-day -day basis. I cover some gray psychology aspects in my universal dating course, which is great for anybody that's looking for realistic results, like actual results. So you're not expected to get this right away because there's no such thing as instant results. This is something that's affordable. This is something that you can actually use on a regular day-to-day -day basis. This is a system that allows you to just have a love life of whatever sorts you want on the back burner so that when those opportunities pop up, you can just enjoy yourself, live your life how you will. And also I implement some gray psychology concepts in there. This is a living course. And the more people that are a part of this course, the more you get to ask questions, get answers and that sort. And also overall, the membership community is absolutely great. If you aren't a YouTube member, you're missing out on a lot of amazing stuff gonna give a big shout out to our current members and for those that are fairly new it's been a while since i've done a shout out but i'm doing my best to make sure that you all feel appreciated because every single one of you out there that supports this channel you mean a lot to me also if you enjoy videos like this make sure to smash the like button let's go for a hundred likes from there we can do a more deep dive into some psychological concepts any questions that you have we'll do something on a larger broader scale so that you can learn about some awesome stuff and find ways to enrich your own lives. Thank you all so much for watching and doing all the things that I mentioned earlier. Let's keep each other in mind and I'll see you next time.